Greetings and howdy howdy. I'm not uh, making you guess where I'm at today, but uh, what I'm going to do in this video, let me get up close to the microphone, I'll leave you on the sign, is I'm going to give you a tour of the Bucky's uh, convenience store, I guess is what they're called, in Leeds, Alabama. This is the second one I've seen coming west. The first one was in Florence, South Carolina. I've already spoken with management and got permission to film inside as long as I don't show the employees. But I'll start out here and give you a big overview. They're about the size of a Walmart. You could maybe, if you're familiar with the Stuckies from decades ago, you might consider the Stuckies on steroids. Uh, they're kind of like a Walmart also in that they have practically anything you could want on the road. They generally have anywhere from 120 to 160 gas pumps. And the manager I spoke to said, no, they all have the same amount. Sometimes they're just in different configurations. But you can see they have diesel, ethanol free, and then the rest are just a regular gasoline and this is a pretty area I don't know if there's mountains in Alabama or not but I've definitely left the palm trees behind and now all I have is pine and hardwoods but and this is I think this is a smaller one than some of the ones in Texas but I hope by the end of this uh, tour you will understand why most native Texans and transplants like myself feel that there's a need an obligatory stop anytime you see a Bucky's they uh, have Texas brisket, Texas barbecue, chopped, uh, chopped, not chopped cheese, uh, blocks, uh, squ cubed, cubed cheese. You can get ice, you can get uh, uh, stuff for hunting. And uh, oh, and there's a Bash Pro Shop across the street at this one if you need uh, fishing supplies. But I think this is a feeder for deer if you want to attract them to your property. $479 for all seasons feeder, 600 pound stand. Yeah. And uh, they pay extremely well here. And these are the ice machines. Large, $1.99, small, a dollar. And here is what the employees make. And this is a little bit less than in Texas. I think they start at $17 in Texas. And they started at $18 in South Carolina. But anyway, you can get on up to uh, $33 a year, uh, sorry, an hour for uh, department leads. Two hour, two dollar hour extra for overnight. In fact, I'll tell you, if I had stayed in Texas, I may have worked for this company. That's how much I like them. And then you got smokers over here. And uh, water fountain. Let me go show you the Bucky, the beaver, that you've seen many people take photos with and then I'll give you an overview of the inside and you may see why you just want to stop here they have fantastically clean bathrooms I hope I'm not giving you a nose hair view too much I don't know if somebody's gonna be at the beaver so let me just show you the other view of the gas pumps there's actually three separate sections that one this one and that one this store has hundred and twenty pumps and the manager I spoke to said they all have the same I haven't even seen the price yet I don't see a display I'll have to get the beaver later because they sat down to eat lunch but see there's this is just the outside of the store they have uh, more fire pits smokers and a whole nother row of ice machines well there's a door down there I'll just go in there not get these customers in the video Bucky's ice. Let's see. I guess it's the large is 20 pounds. I'm not sure. Maybe the small is 10. I'm not sure. But here again, I am in Leeds, Alabama. I'm a little bit over halfway back to Tyler, Texas. And they seem to be able to get plenty of staff here. Well, you can see why maybe with the rates they pay. Uh, when you pay your employees and you treat them well, you generally don't have trouble finding plenty of them. This will give you a little view of what's inside. Wicked chickens lay deviled eggs. Okay, 
barbecue B and B grill wood, firewood, deer corn, and a cart you can use not for sale but for loading stuff. Then you go in the door and they have displays out here old country barbecue pits and tabletop grills for eighty dollars. A Cajun fryer. Ooh, look at that. I bet it's it's probably run on gas. For your safety, not available for use. Yeah. They have buckies, chairs, chair umbrellas, baby chairs, 30 quart, quart turkey fryer, oh, game carrier, <laughs> another seat you can't sit in, and then a doghouse pop up blind. Tailgate feeder, I guess, so the deer can follow you along. And then, uh, oops, there's employees in there. I'm not supposed to get them. But now we'll go on inside and I'll give you a brief overview of what's here. They have, they usually say hello, welcome to Bucky's when you come in. Then they have a uh, Texas brisket, pork sausage. They've got all this. See, they have Texas brisket, pork sausage, turkey, pulled pork, sweets, sugared nuts, dippin' dots fudge, and then over there they've got jerky, burritos and tacos, bakery. Oh, and here's all the uh, pecans and nuts. They make it all here in-house. They chop the brisket down here. Apparently they even sell some forms of granite. Oh, these are in the shape of the state of Alabama. But see, you could just make this a destination, and that's what a lot of people do in Texas. I understand a lot of international visitors come just to see a Bucky. So here's a mason jar memo pad and a mason jar zip bag, and more zippered bags. So, like I say, like a Stuckies, here's the wicked chicken laid deviled eggs. And morning, y'all. The rooster may crow but the hen delivers <laughs> kitchen closed this chick has had it yeah see you can find lots of neat stuff to buy here so i'll just give a quick overview around the outside let you see stuff as i walk by but they have all kinds of americana also not quite sure what this is door decor okay you hang it on i guess it's a jeep you hang it on your front door and they've got all these signs on the wall. Text me if you run out of TP. I know you're on your phone. <laughs> Here, more Americana. Order number 978 and 141. A penny for your thought seems a little pricey. Well, I hope you don't consider that on my YouTube channel. <laughs> you don't have to pay me a penny, but YouTube will at some point if I get enough subscribers, which reminds me. I am launching a thing to have a thousand subscribers within the next year. So if you can help me out, please hit that red subscribe button at the bottom. I promise try to not to show you nose hairs too much. More of the store. Junk Gypsy Kitchen Beer Bread. Hmm. Open Road. I don't know what Gypsy is. Bring on the Open Road. Junk Gypsies. Hmm. They must... I know they kind of have their own brands here. I'll show you down the other side where all the shirts are that they uh, have a lot of Bucky's wear. Here's some Halloween stuff that's come out already. I like this one when I came in. Current mood. You've got uh, pumpkins, ghost and goblins, candy corn, and witches. Kindness and confetti. Here again, I'm at the Bucky's out right outside of Birmingham. I'm about to take the uh, bypass, I think, for Birmingham. You can see they have, oh, here's a Bucky's tour. I don't know what they're touring, or maybe that's just where they're located. Okay, that's when they opened. And I, I was in Texas in 1982, but they didn't get to Fort Worth till, let's see if we can find it. There it is, 2016. And yeah, they were a phenomenon then. Now they're a nationwide phenomenon here leads this one didn't open until 2021 let me see when florence north carolina opened i'm sorry south carolina i don't even see it on there maybe i'm missing it 
I think it's new. See, they have their own Bucky's color changing tumblers. You can get pretty much anything you want here. You can order their hot dogs, chicken tenders, sandwiches, and wraps on one of those fancy dancy self help machines. Here's their Bucky's truck. I guess 82 was the year the first one opened. All the little Bucky beavers, and they have beaver nuggets, fudge, lots of fudge. All flavors of fudge are prepared in areas where allergies are present. Peanuts, sesame seeds, and tree nuts. You can get a variety. Oh, there's M&Ms in that one. But I'm not eating fudge this week, so. <laughs> okay, here's Bucko's snack rings like uh, onion. What do they call those things? The onion ring things. And here's jalapeno. Jalapeno flavored kettle style potato chips. And things like Cheetos. See, they have their own meats, jerkies, burritos, bakery. They got shopping carts. Anything you could want. And that's only half the store. And they have all of this uh, prepared meals, salads, sandwiches, salads, fruit, nuts. And let's see what this is. Oh my goodness, pralines. <laughs> I better put them back. I'd eat the whole container. But anyway, you can see. You can see why Texans feel it's obligatory. Just, I'm not going to go in the bathroom, but they have very nice, clean bathrooms. I think there was 16 or 17 urinals at this one, and I think it's smaller than most. I'm trying to stay out of the picture so you get an idea of the store. This is the sandwich pulled, pulled pork, barbecue turkey, and sausage on a stick with a tortilla. Then they have this long fountain, that one's shut off, but this whole row of fountain drinks, their own cups. Highest price for a fountain drink is 99 cents, and that's probably 44 ounces. You can also bring in a refillable, washable mug, and that cost about 75 cents. I just got my, like, three-quart one filled up. And then they have the coffee over here, and look at all these... Uh, additives they have we got what's it skim milk yeah two percent and then uh, vanilla creamer and half and half and they got all these pumps over here oh, I guess I could have showed you this one where there was less people they got tea bags then they got the ices down here their own line of coolers their own line of well no this isn't their line of water clean earth but they do sell water they sell sodas, a little bit cheaper than most convenience stores. And then they got, of course, the cooler wall over here. There's jerky, nuts, trail mix, dried fruit, old favorites. I guess that's candy. And look, here's all the nuts packaged. They got automotive and barbecue, uh, charcoal. So anyway, I'm about to get back on the road. Let's go see what the old faves are. Don't you want to come to a Bucky's now? The managers encouraged me to tell you that this was the best one. Here's a Bucky's soft-sided cooler for twenty dollars. Saltwater taffy. Whoa, that's cheaper than it was at the beach. Oh, maybe not. It's twelve ounces. I think it was a pound down there for three ninety-nine. But I bet it's good here. I bet it was good there too. I didn't buy any though. Myrtle Beach had lots of saltwater taffy. Oh, and by the way, that's where my last uh, Where's Chip chilling was done from was Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Oh, caramel popcorn. Yeah, I'm tempted to buy that, but nope, I'm going to stick with my carnivore diet. Like I said, I've already filled up my jug. I did not get Diet Mountain Dew today. This is a Texas-based store, so Texas is known for Dr. Pepper, so I actually got, oh, here's Tip Top Butter popcorn, and here's the beaver nuggets I have. Bought those. Oh, but look at that. The first ingredient is brown sugar then cornmeal, then corn syrup. Yeah, that's why I don't eat those anymore. But you'll notice that they have art for sale in the restrooms. Let me let the customer get by first. I'm not going to go in the restrooms, but I can go into this little entryway. And they have a real art for sale. 300, 259 then the horses, and then stuff here. And the women go that way, the men go that way. And I don't know what this... Oh, I guess that's so you don't bring merchandise in. But anyway, back to the drink machine. I was so happy to find them when I got to Florence. 
the people that owned the home had told me they'd built one in Florence, so I found it. And uh, oh, I didn't turn on my do not disturb. Here's a lot of what are the oh, these are little sippy cups. <laughs> I should get those for my new little great nieces. Ten dollars a cup, I guess. I don't know that they need that much of a cup, <laughs> they might not be able to handle it. There goes Chip's tightness again, but then they've got meat. See, this is good for keto people. Pork tenderloin and cheese tray. Smoked pork tenderloin. Smoked turkey. Turkey and cheese. Dried beef and pork sausage. So you can get... Somebody's buzzing me. Uh, text, I guess. they got grapes, pineapple, apples with uh, Jif peanut butter. Ooh. So you can find something here that's a little bit healthier than your normal. Oh, here's some wine glasses. Bigger ones, smaller ones. I'm going to walk back out the same door I walked in, but I'll go further around the back of the store. We'll go by the, um, we'll go by the bakery again, and I'll just kind of try not to get the employees. But you see they have kolaches, pups. Then they have their whole line of jerky here jerky and sausage and you can buy it already prepackaged pork and beef smoked sausage uh, three cheese sausage maybe you get one of those and gnaw on it on the road unfortunately a lot of this prepared stuff is uh, also got a lot of sugar in it you can see they have all kinds of uh, clothing over here and they're open 24 7 yeah as the suitcase says but if you ever get by one, I strongly encourage you to uh, stop by. Bucky's, you can hold it. <laughs> Let us plan our next potty. Yeah, Saving the world from ordinary, I agree with all of those. Eat here. Get, these are the, the billboards that they have up along the highway. Ice, beer, jerky, all three food groups. Hmm. <laughs> Restrooms that make moms smile. Always open. It's potty time. And then here's the rainbow colored I guess these are magnets yeah hmm not bad they were five dollars a magnet at the beach these are two dollars then you got frisbees here's the real little sippers maybe I should get those for my new great nieces maybe I'll get them at one in Texas but they have their own line of clothing Peter shoes all leathers oh my phone is getting loose again I'm afraid there's a Bucky's t-shirt I'll eventually have to get one of those but not this trip. Then they have a fitting room and they have some of the local college attire. Auburn, yeah, we're in Alabama. But they got Alabama somewhere too. Yeah, Alabama fans and Auburn fans. So, all kind of, oh, and look at all the big gas cans. I guess they're gas cans. Southern Railroad Hotel Office and Yeti coolers, I think. Oh, these are YKO. Yukon, okay. But I think they do sell Yeti also. Is this gasoline? Oh, multi-use utility jug. You can tell I've been out of the camping. Oh, here's a huge feeder. Or oh, it's just up high. Oh, well, this is the three burner griddle. Oh, that's a teeth post feeder. They've got uh, varmint lights. I guess so you can shoot them. <laughs> but anyway, scoops for your feed bear paws oh that's to tear your pork barbecue or beef barbecue pull shred lift grip serve and more good idea i just use a couple forks usually well here's a setup with the scooper in it 58 ounce all-purpose scoop yeah everything's bigger in texas even though we're not in texas it's a texas-based company uh, these are a sack or something i guess oh and chef's apron so very Americana and very Texas company. I'm about to get back on the road, so I will sign off from here. Oh, it's almost been 20 minutes. That's longer than I expected. Thanks. Have a great day. God bless. Be sure to subscribe down below there. There should be a button or there's a red button down beneath. Tell me why you'd stop in a buck these or why you wouldn't in the comments, please. Talk to you later. God bless. Bye-bye.